in this episode 24 we discuss measuring area of a quadrilateral one of whose sides is not measurable or rangeable this is heron's formula survey 3 quadrilateral 2 Let's consider the following quadrilateral field. The measurements of these sides are given and these diagonals are given, but the measurement of this side is not given because this line is neither chainable nor rangeable. So we must calculate CD first, and then we can calculate the area as usual, as shown. in the previous episode 23 now we calculate angle dab we know these three sides of the triangle this side this side this side so applying cosine rule we calculate dab then we calculate area cab we know the three sides so we can calculate the area the angle cab we already calculated angle dab so if we subtract this angle from dab if we subtract angle cab from angle dab we get angle dac so we know this angle we know this side and we know this side so applying cosine rule we can calculate this side cd and once this side is calculated then we learnt how to measure the area of the quadrilateral so we have found out the length of cd it's 4445 feet 11 inches we note down the length of dc in its place o is the point of intersection of the diagonals we haven't performed any check and performing check is very essential now we calculate cdb and acd by applying cosine rule we calculate cdb and <coughs> we calculate acd that means we calculate this angle and this angle the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees we know this angle and we know this angle if we add these two angles and deduct the sum from this angle deduct the sum from 180 degrees we can get this angle angle doc after getting doc we should calculate oc by applying sine rule we can get this side oc and by applying sine rule again we can get this side do so we know this angle now
we after calculation we get angle doc as 88.935609791 degrees now by applying sine rule we calculate co and it is 2732.244420020 feet now let's calculate do after calculation do is 3558.402665 13 feet this is the same figure but i have deleted the length of this db because of the congestion of figures now we measure a line d dash c dash we choose d dash and we choose c dash c c dash we choose dd dash and we choose c c dash and why we correct d dash c dash we measure this side d dash c dash we know this side co we know this side do and we know the lengths of dd dash and cc dash we measure the measure these lengths cc dash and dd dash must be as short as possible then the accuracy will be more so we know voc and we know cc dash therefore by deducting cc dash from oc we get oc dash by deducting dd dash from od we get od dash so we know angle doc do angle doc is same as angle d dash o c dash so in this triangle we know this angle we know oc dash we know od dash so by applying cosine rule we can calculate this side c dash d dash we measured this side already and we calculated this side now if both the measurements are almost equal then we should understand that our survey and our measurements and our uh, measuring areas are sufficiently correct in this way we performed check and we ensured that our work is free from errors